let us change some rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates okay so the objective of this video is to change from rectangular rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates now i'll show you how to do first without the calculator and then you can use the calculator to check your answer okay i don't like you to only use the calculator and be dependent on the calculator so let us take a coordinate which is say six comma eight so the first thing that you used to you should do is you draw a rough sketch of your x and y axis not drawn to scale so this is your x axis and this is your y axis so six eight means you have to go six on the right so this is not drawn to scale so this is say six and uh, this is six sorry this is six on the x-axis and this is eight on the y-axis this is not eight this is your y-axis okay so this point is six comma eight you don't need to remove any formulas okay and then you draw a ray so this is like a vector so this is your you you want to find the coordinate so let us draw a right angle triangle so again let me use a line tool so this is your other vector okay so this point is six comma eight so we want to find r which is the distance from this origin to this point and we want to find theta so this point in cord in cord uh, polar form is r comma theta so so let me use a different color so this distance is 6 and this distance is 8 so r is square root of 6 squared plus 8 squared which is square root of 36 plus 64 which is square root of 100 <coughs> which is a neat number which is r is 10 and theta is tan inverse of opposite over adjacent so we can say theta directly or well, let me do one in one step so tan theta using soka toa tan is toa stands for toa is opposite which is 8 over 6 so, which is nothing but 4 over 3 so theta is tan inverse of 4 divided by 3 so we will need a calculator now this is set in uh, I had already worked this out so you go shift 10 bracket 4 divided by 3 which is 53.1 degrees so this is 53.1 degrees now how can we do this on a calculator so here there's a menu so let me exit first first good option then f6 and then this is under angle okay and then again you have to go f6 and then we want to change this into polar form so this is a this is the option for polar form so you go f1 and the, they are asking you the coordinates so the coordinates are 6 comma so you have to put uh, enter comma 8 close bracket oops the calculator has given you the exact answer so the first number tells you r and the second number tells you the theta so in other words r is 10 and theta is 53.13 the whole thing that's what we got so we have checked our answer okay so let us do one more example say example number two let us change it to say negative 11 negative 4 so again draw the x and the y axis this is x and y axis so this is your x axis and this is your y axis so this is say negative 11 and this is a negative 4 not drawn to scale again so let me okay so let me take this point try to be as exact as possible so this is 
your point negative 11 comma negative 4 okay I'm going to draw now a ray okay so this is what we want to find so this let me draw a right angle triangle so we want to find R and we want to find theta it is basically right angle triangle and so katoa so this is 11 oops I've done a mistake uh, sorry uh, uh, I am okay I'm sorry 11 negative 11 comes to that okay okay so yeah let me change it so let me change the okay I think this is fine so this is negative 11 this is negative 11 on the x-axis and this is negative 4 okay so this point is negative 11 negative 4 it's always good to think and check your answer so this is negative and this is so let me draw an arrow from here to yeah so um, so let me use a different color so we want this this is we want to this distance is 4 and this distance is 11 and we want to find the angle okay so this is this is the angle it's always from the positive arm of the x-axis so this is the angle theta this is what we want to find so let us let me write this theta but the triangle will give me this angle so let me call this as beta so and this is your r so r is square root of 11 squared plus 4 squared which is square root of 121 plus 16 this is so r is square root of 137 square root of 137 so let us use a calculator shift square oops shift square root of 137 uh, which is 11.7 okay so let me write this in one dp so 11.7 this is exact up to one decimal point we'll first find beta and then we take away 180 from beta you'll get theta so we can say 10 beta 10 beta is opposite over adjacent so it is 4 divided by 11 so beta is 10 inverse of 4 divided by 11 so again using a calculator shift 10 4 divided by 11 that will give me 19.98 so let us make this 20 degrees to be this is 20 degrees so beta so theta would be 180 minus 20 which is 160 degree and this is as we're going anti-clockwise this would be minus 160 so the coordinate would be 11.7 comma minus 160 degrees so let us check this on a calculator polar form negative 11 comma negative 4 yeah we got exactly 11.7 and this is 160.0 so this is they are this is exact so that when you round this this is one negative 160 degree okay so let me let us do one more example say let us change this to say negative 3 negative 3 comma 4 okay so hopefully we should not do the same mistake so negative 3 is say yeah first negative 3 year and 4 year so this point is the year 
this point is negative 3 comma 4 and let us draw a right angle triangle okay so yeah this is let us uh, okay let us draw a right angle triangle like this okay so this is 3 if this distance from year to year is 3 so for the distance from year to year is 3 and this is 4 and this angle we are interested in always from the positive arm of the x-axis so this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis so we want we are interested theta is this angle theta is this angle we will find beta we will find beta from this triangle and so this whole from year to year is 270 degrees so 270 minus beta will give us theta so r this is your r r is square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared that should be pretty easy which is 9 plus 16 is square root of 25 so r is 5 so let us find beta beta is 10 inverse of of opposite over adjacent which is 3 over 4 so which is uh, let us use a calculator delete shift 10 3 divided by 4 what's that 36.8 so let us make that 37 degrees so this is nothing but 37 degrees as a whole number so theta is 270 minus 37 degrees so this is again going you could have gone this way that would have been positive uh, yeah I think this will take the neck uh, the calculator will give us the uh, okay so let us let me take you could have gone instead from year to year you could have also gone from year to year okay so this is positive okay so this is your theta is 90 plus 37 degrees clockwise it is better so theta this much this is 90 and beta is 37 so theta would be 90 plus 37 degrees which is 127 degrees so let us check it on a calculator polar form so let me do the whole thing again exit okay so first go option then f6 then angle then again f6 then polar form it's a very long-winded way of getting to the polar form so it is minus 3 comma 4 close the bracket uh, this is 127 degrees okay 5 and we have rounded it so this is when you round this this is 127 degrees